Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's great to see you all once again on a Twinkle Tip Friday. We hope you've had an incredible, fun, and exciting week because it is now rolling into September and we're getting ready to get all of our stuff put out. Halloween's coming and Christmas is coming. Um, but as I was reminded last night or two nights ago that uh, there still can be some small issues inside your layout that have to do with your icicles. Maybe you want to go and have a look and make sure you've done this correctly so that all of your effects may map correctly into your show if you're mapping sequences. Stay tuned, we'll get right to it. So I want to give a shout out to John Cross for sending me a question last night. Well, it kind of went to the PPD account and I just decided I wanted to answer because I thought it was an interesting thing to kind of tackle. And I thought I'd address this in a number of other videos, but apparently I haven't. And so now we're making a new video just so that we can get all of the mystery out of creating vendor specific icicle models that maybe you're going to uh, wire up and build. So uh, to get started, what I wanna say is, is that you can buy a Coro prop that is an icicle prop. Now I'm using them on my house, Rob's using them on his. Uh, well, maybe Rob's not using his. Anyway, um, what you see here in the pro layout, when we look at the pro layout, you're gonna notice that the icicles here, the, the roof outline has a gutter line and then on a, a completely different model we have an icicle set and if we go back in time back in 2019 18 when we created the pro layout they were two different models and they weren't all one like we have today that you can buy from Boscoyo. Boscoyo sells the uh, uh, 100 the the icicle 100s and uh, and then uh, I believe um, Gilbert has the other ones that are 150 on a, an entire continuous set of Coro. So uh, we, we like both of them. They, they both work fine, but they're different than what we show in our pro layout. So if you're getting some new icicles, let me give you a couple of suggestions, especially if you're using those Coro pushed ones. There's many different ways to push them, but what I wanna show you is how to build your model if you're just going to put it into your layout and kind of get started with it. So first you do need to come up and you need to look up here, click on create new icicles. So I'm gonna click and drag and um, I'm also going to use the numbers I used from John's suggestions yesterday or his, his, his own layout, what he's using in his. And uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go nodes per string and he had 400 or 549 and then he had a drop pattern that was eight comma one comma one. So what that means is put a drop of eight comma, then put a drop of one, which is a top line or the gutter line, and then put another comma and put another one, which is another gutter line. So if we do that and we run that entirely through all of those icicles there through that entire length, this is his, uh, that's his icicle section for one part of his house. So now you may need to then now this fair warning you may need to make sure that you set your wiring diagram if you need to build your icicles look at your node layout this is how it's going to how xlace is going to see it from the front end it's going to see oh pixel one starts here two three four five six seven eight and this could go back up here 9 10 11 and then down if you need to go and you need to do like leapfrog pixels you can do this alternate wire node right there you can do a uh, wiring view there and th now this is the back side it just did the back side there you go you can see one two three four five and then it it, it kind of leapfrogs back up six seven eight and then over here to nine and ten which is across the top so it skips two and that's how the model is built in x lights if you're trying to do um that i believe that's the the one from gilbert just using this one um as our example and you can see that you can do your own wiring diagram if we go back in here now what most people are going to do is they're going to say i want to throw my icicles into my icicle group i need to start grouping these and but i also need to put that top line just the top line because that's the gutter line remember 
I want to put that in its own group. So now let's go make some submodels. All we're going to do is we're going to go to submodels, click on the submodel dialog, and we'll we'll add in uh, we'll click add, and we'll call this uh, gutter tab, and then I'm going to click in the box here now. I, I have a I have a favorite way to do this whenever I just do this is just for icicles. If I click on the if I double click on the bottom box and I click on the top left and I click and drag the whole way down and then I keep moving my mouse over to the right. See how it's auto selecting these? And I click OK. Now I have the entire gutter line. It's done. So now if I um, I, I click add another uh, submodel, we're gonna call this icicles. And I hit the enter key and I double click on the bottom here. And now I'm going to go to this next line here. We could probably zoom in a little bit so you can see it. There's number eight, pixel number eight. And I'm just going to grab the first one on the first drop that's from the from the top line. And I'm just I'm just uh, bumping my mouse to the right here. And I'm going to let it rest on the last pixel and I'm going to click OK. So what that did was that created an individual line straight across. I'm going to add a row. I'll do it another time. And then we'll speed up from here. Here's number two. And I'm just going to click and I'm going to push, 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 push. Okay. And it stopped. So you can tell because we're all the way over here. And you see two. What is that? Five, uh, 542. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we have our two rows. I'm going to speed up through the rest of these because they're pretty easy. Add a row. And there you have it. I'm just going to go ahead and click the OK button. Never hit the cancel. Never hit the X at the top right of this because if you cancel it, you'll lose all your work and you definitely don't want to lose all your work. Now, why is it important to build your submodels that way? I'm going to show you, okay? Um, I, I did a sequence a number of years ago. We're, we're actually going to go in and we're going to we're going to build the submodel a different way. We're going to call this bad icicle. And the reason why I'm going to call this a bad icicle is because we've trained you, all of us, all of us sequencers and all of us x lights people, we've trained you to click and drag in this box here, okay? And that should build your model for you. If we click and drag and we add that into the mix, now what I want to do is I need to start adding these to my groups. If I click on the little carrot there, the little uh, greater than sign, and I click on bad icicles, and I right click and I add selection to existing groups, and I go up to my icicles. There we go. Now that, that weird, the, the bad one is in there, it's, it's mixed in as you can see with all my other icicles. Now I'm gonna open up a sequence uh, that I prepared and, and we, we actually found the issue with the layout. And um, there we go. Let's go ahead and I wanna scroll down and I wanna look for my icicles because I did something really interesting and unique on the icicles that I normally wouldn't do. And here we go. I put these little, um, and I'll get the, here's the house preview so you can see what's going on. I put these, uh, these, this little image here, and as you see, I've got, that uh, looks like a cute little gingerbread dude, but this doesn't look like a cute little gingerbread dude. He's not doing the right thing. What's going on there? And I got this, and I've got these going on. These are, this is like a little, a little picture. These are a picture effect, and and it's not showing up correctly on the model. Well, and this is why you have to pay attention to how you build submodels because if you have an anomaly, even though you've done all of the work, you created the submodel, you have to go back and you have to get the actual correct submodel for this. So we're going to get rid of bad icicle. And uh, all I did was select it and use the little green arrow to the uh, over. And then we'll click on this again. And we can say, put the good icicles in, add selection to existing group. We can scroll down to the icicle, click OK. And while we're at it, we could um, click on that again and go to the icicles and put the gutter and right click, add selection to group. And that, that is going to be the gutter group. There we go. And um, I didn't, I, I, and I just saved it, no big deal. Um, 
but if I go ahead and re-render that effect, now you can see that the effects are rendering correctly and we fixed our little issue even though you, you did take the time to create the submodel. So keep that in mind because different sequences are going to do different things if you build your submodels uh, in a, in a uh, logical fashion that x -Lights understands. Not that you did it wrong, but x -Lights wasn't understanding how that submodel was being created, so it didn't know how to portray the effects that you can see clearly going on now. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, just another way for you to uh, double check your submodels on your icicles. If you're using those specific Coro version icicles, or you've done something on your own that is similar, just make sure that you put them in there uh, in, in the same manner. And if you have, the effects are going to come over. They're going to look great. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can happen whenever we sequence. And whenever something doesn't transpose, it usually either... Um, it leads to a model issue, an error with the model, or uh, it's wired differently. Something is going on with the model if an effect doesn't just naturally work on it uh, as you would see it in a uh, somebody else's uh, layout or so forth. So uh, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss any of the video content that we put out here at Pixel Pro Displays. We've been putting out videos all week for different webinars. We're finally getting caught up on those. It's been crazy. I've got a monthly sequence to finish. I, guys, it's, just, it's crazy here at PPD. And if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month. We have three different ones to choose from in our triple play. Every month we put three songs in the store just for club members that are triple play songs only. You get a great deal on them. You get to pick one. One's always new to the store. The other two are songs that are either in the store. One other one may be new and actually there's going to be two new ones next month too. So hope to see you in the club soon guys. This is Clyde signing out. Don't forget to pick up your cool t-shirts just like this down below in the link in the video description. Take care. We'll talk to you soon and goodbye for now. And there he the <laughs> Oh God.